little chunk right there here we are again on another episode of dockside tv but what we're going to be doing today let me just go ahead and let you see this grass how thick it is right here in this canal we're fishing so what we're going to be doing is taking some of our matrix shed products rigging them texas style we'll go over that in a minute a little weedless action from the uh you know, with all the grass in here, bullet weight, and chunky bass like this right here. A bicy one. There we go. It's a healthy, healthy marsh bass right there. These things usually don't get too terribly big. I'm using our matrix brush hog here, matrix hog. Sam's gonna, he's Texas rigging the matrix crawl. As you usually see that, um on our flutter hook but we're texas rigging today due to the grass catching some chunks there we go. what we're noticing is these chunks are kind of focusing in on these turns we're in a little ditch right now off of the, the little cedar and big cedar we came off the main bayou, got into a secondary ditch, and it seems like we're getting bit, as we just had a double right there, in the turns. Let me put this fish up, and I'm going to go over just how we got it set up. All right, so we got a 3 16th is what I'm using, bullet weight. Sam's using a 5 16th as the crawfish got a little bit more plastic, need a little more weight to get it down. This is our matrix hog. You just rig it just like you did a worm as a kid. You know, it's just it's called Texas rig. Got an offset, off shank hook. Put a piece of it right there to hold it up. And then you need a wide gap hook to be able to do this correctly. It's gonna sit like that. And if you're in an area that's pretty grassy, all you gotta do is what we call skin hook it. Hide the tip of that hook. And it is relatively grassy here. Try to push your bullet weight down. You can kind of bite on it or put something in there to to uh, peg it to where it don't move all over on you. If you like that, and we're ready to go. Great, great, uh, two, two great lures for when you're fishing heavy vegetation situations for bass. Oh yeah. You know, we started off this morning, we did, uh, as you can see in the last, oh, double up, last Doc's Eye TV episode, we started off trout fishing, trolling, and if you want to check that out, just go to the last episode, and we were catching a few, it was okay, but the bass fishing, y'all, this time of year in southeast Louisiana is phenomenal. Sometimes I wonder why we even target the trout because you can literally come in any of these ditches. I've never been in this canal before in my entire life. I just figured we were cutting this way. We were coming through, saw it on the map, said, let's just try it. And you can catch a limit in almost any canal around here. There's just so many bass when we get into that winter time, you know, especially when we have years where it's not a lot of rainfall and everything's real clean and it's been, we haven't had rain in a while and everything's crystal clear right now. I've been using that green 
uh, Matrix Hog. I'm going to switch to the purple one just for fun. Showcase that one and let's get some more of these bass. school of them. Throw the, throw the trolling motor up in the grass and get to whacking them. We offer a couple different colors over at Matrix Shed. We got two greenish colors and we got a purple. Sizzling bacon. Poke chop. And Crouchon Delay. Brush hogs, fantastic little bass lures, especially when there's a little grass. The craws are awesome too, and we really love the craws for the redfish. We got plenty of colors in those. Oh, the purple one's doing damage now. Color really don't matter this time of year when the bass fishing is just absolutely incredible. Throw him in the well. Good eating size fish there. Just go over to presentation and technique here. So, just making short little casts, trying to pick out the deep spots next to the grass. You know, if I see some grass heavy on one side, I just want to, I just want to edge the grass. I want it to come be, I just want it to be rubbing the edges of the grass mat. So the grass mats are typically on the banks, and I don't want to throw dead on the bank. I want to be right on the edge. Now in the summertime. We'll throw stuff that'll ride over the grass as the fish will really bury up in there and they'll come up and strike the lure from inside the grass. But as we get into winter, oh, there he was. As we get into the winter time, most of the time they're in kind of the middle of the canals. They're right on the edge of the grass, shall I say, right where that grass stops. are pretty nice for the marsh. Again, I caught that one on the Couchon Delay, our purple matrix hog. We're just having a blast back here fishing these windy little ditches off the cedars, off of Pontchartrain. It don't matter where you go. You could go off to West Pearl, East Pearl, Wrigley's, ICW, towards Chalmette, Irish Bayou, cedars where we're at. We could, you're going to catch a lemon of bass everywhere you go. All right, I switched over to the crawl. Let me throw this one in the bucket. The crawl, the same principle, same situation. A little bit bulkier bait, but you can rig this weedless, just like you do the uh, the hogs. Right there, offset hook. If you want to, you can bury that, the tip, push your weight down. That's what she looks like right there, ready to go. Y'all, this is a monster for the marsh. A monster. Oh yeah. I thought it was a redfish when he hit it. Whoa. Got him. <laughs> That's a marsh bass there, baby. That's equivalent to like an eight or nine pounder in big bass estuaries. These are, we're used to catching a lot of pound and a half, two pounders. This is the real deal right here. Let me get a quick photo. I'm gonna let this hoss go. All right, well this big stud came off of the Crouchon de Lay, the purple one. We love eating marsh bass. They taste just as good as trout. I don't know why people release them so much. I, you know, trout should be right now 10 per person probably as they're not the easiest to catch and bass could be 50 per person. That's how many we catch. 
but we released the big girls. Especially this size here. This is a monster for back here. Let them swim out your hands. Bass are pretty hardy. They can handle a lot. But just awesome, awesome bass fishing back here in southeast Louisiana. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dockside TV. Can't end it on a better fish than that. That probably will end up being my biggest bass of this whole year. Let's end it on that. Make sure to get your hand, you know, get your hands on these crawfish and also the brush hogs we are using. Subscribe to the Matrix Bait Box. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for all kinds of different bass fishing episodes. And until next time, good fishing.